Hello and welcome to the second video in our completing pattern series. This video will introduce the different elements that can appear in a pattern. Of course, examples will be provided for each different element. The samples that appear in the test can contain different elements. For example, the patterns may differ from one another in color or shade, the amount of elements used, or the size of the shapes used. Don't worry if you can't imagine this now. We will look at different examples of each element and combinations of different elements. Let's go through these variations one by one. We will begin with color and shading. Please take a look at the following example. Here we have the pattern XO, XO, and so on. This applies both vertically and horizontally. However, there is also another pattern that we can see. For each space that we move to the right, the shape takes on a lighter color, horizontally following black, gray, white. The rule is color, all different in each row. However, if we follow the column down rather than across, the color stays the same. This means the color does not change vertically. The rule is color, all the same within a column. The solution to this example is a white X. The shape must be white as it must be the same color as the shapes above, which are within the same column, and it must be a different color than the shapes in the same row, which is the all different rule. Let's note the following. We have seen examples where the patterns can differ in shape. In this case, it was letters, as well as color or shade. We have also seen that the patterns can run vertically and horizontally, and that they can be all the same or all different within a column or row. Now we will look at patterns with a variation of the amount. This example demonstrates how the count can vary within a pattern. You have to pay attention to the amount within each shape. Here, the amount within the columns remains the same, always one, two, or three. However, across the rows, the number of dots increases by one from left to right, so it goes from one to two to three. Can you guess what goes in the empty field? There must be three points in the empty field. Let's look at another example. In this example, the amount of dots alternates between two and three, both within rows and within columns. This is a modification of the everything the same, everything different rule. Now it follows a same, different, same pattern. Take a quick look at this example again. Can you predict what goes in the blank? A square with three dots must go in the empty field. Now let's examine the varying shapes. As you can see, this example has two variables, shape and amount. Just like our previous example, the amount varies between two and three, both within rows and columns. So it's following a same different same pattern. In this example, the shape also changes. You can look at this in two ways. Either you see that the shape must always be different within each column and each row, or you see that the square always comes after the triangles, triangles after circles, and so on. This applies to every column and row. Take a close look at the pattern again. Can you complete it? A square with three dots must go in the empty field. Now let's add some shading. In this example, we have three variables, shape, amount, and shading. 
Can you determine what goes in the empty space? The shading is always the same within each column, but always different within each row. If you look at the dots, you will see that they follow a 3-2-3 pattern in the first row and a 2-3-2 pattern in the second row. The last row follows the same pattern as the first. Therefore, the empty field must be filled with three dots in an unshaded white square. Now let's try mixing the three variables. First, you should identify the three variables. In this case, shape, color and shade, and amount were combined. As for the shape, everything is different within each row and column. As for the color and shading, it's all different within each row and column. And finally, the amount is also all different within each row and column. Can you predict what goes in the empty space? A dark square with three dots must go in the empty field. Depending on how many variables are added, it is important to break down the patterns by variable. For example, compare color to color, shade to shade, and amount to amount and look at each row and column individually. Start with a variable and ask yourself, is it all the same, all different, or is it changing in a consistent way horizontally across the row or vertically among the columns? Following a structured process to examine the patterns can assist you in successfully mastering this subtest. We have come to the end of our second video. In this video, we examined the all the same, all different, and the same different same rules, and learned that different elements can be part of a single pattern. We saw examples of patterns varying in shape, color, shade, and amount. We also saw that patterns can run vertically and horizontally, and that it's helpful to first consider each element individually. In the next video, we will take a closer look at pattern rules.